Alright, today I'm going to teach you how to solve the inverse metric kind of question. But in order to solve this kind of question, you need to know the inverse metric formula. The inverse metric formula is like this. If A equals to A, B, C, D, then the A inverse will equal to 1 over A, D minus B, C. And then D and A will be swapped place, B and C will add a negative. So this is the formula for inverse metric. So we will use the formula for this metric because the inverse metric of this metric will be equal to this one. So what I will do is, I will do 1 over AD, that's mean A multiplied D will be 6, minus B multiplied C will be 15. And then A and D will swap place, 6 and 1 will swap place, B and C will add negative, negative 3, negative 5. Alright, then we just need to solve this one, 1 over 6 minus 15 will get negative 9. And then this one will be my final answer, but the question asked me to find the K and J, so I will just comparing my position. So if I comparing carefully, I should know my K will equals to negative 9, and then my J will be equals to negative 3. So I can easily write K equals to negative 9, J equals to negative 3. This is how easy we solve the inverse matrix.